HTML basics for kids, ages six years plus full tutorial. The Adventures of Koto Panda. The basics of HTML full tutorial. Read by me, Pando. Once upon a time, somewhere in Koto Town, one late morning, I got a call from Crokey with his deep voice and he asks, Hi Pando, I need to build a website, can you help? And I said to him, sure Crokey, I'm on my way. I hurriedly jumped on my Kodo electric bike and I screamed, It's Kodo time! Driving all the birds around me to fly away as they got scared because of my yelling. Not far from leaving the house, I met my good friend and the renowned host of the Kodo Town podcast. Leo asked, Hi Pando, where are you off to? With which I replied, I'm going to help Crokey build his website. Leo seemed a bit confused and asked, Hmm, what's a website, Pando? Could you show me the basics? I said, sure, Leo. So I started my lecture to Leo. Websites are made up of a basic language called HTML, hypertext markup language. HTML is made up of tags, a start tag and an end tag. Now, to you, my dear friend watching this video, please follow along, get your laptop, and let's learn something new. Don't just watch this video like a movie. If you have your laptop, then let's open Notepad on your computer. If you haven't gotten your laptop, please pause the video right now and get your laptop and open Notepad, please. Now pause the video and type the following. Websites have a head like you and I. You have a name and all websites do too. Titles or names of websites go inside the title tags. For example, I have placed my name Pando in between the title tags because I'm naming my website Pando, and the title tag goes inside the head tags. Like I have here. Enter a name for your web page in between the title tags by replacing Pando with your name. See my friend, just like you have a body, websites also have bodies too. All the information you see on a website is inside its body. From the texts, pictures, videos, etc. you see on a website. And the body content goes inside the body tags. Now type anything using the P tags in between the body tags. Don't be confused, just create a P tag and type anything into it just like you created the previous tags. A P tag is also known as a paragraph tag. Now you should have these codes so far, like I have on my laptop. Finally, let's begin and end our code with the master tags HTML, like this, my friends. Wow, we just created something magical. We're on the road to becoming great programmers. Now let us save what we have done. Click Save As, and enter a name for your file, and end it with .html. I'm going to click Save As, and enter mine as pando.html. You can name yours however you want. I'm going to save my file on the desktop of my laptop. Please pay attention on where you're saving your file, so you can go to it and open it. Now, double click on the saved file to open it. So in my case, I'm going to desktop and double click on the file to open the file I just saved. Boom! Like magic, I have my name on the tab as we did, and the texts, My name is Pando, and I love to code. You, my friend, would have different texts based on what you inputted. Now we are on the road to becoming great programmers. So after showing Leo that fun episode, he was all excited and shouted, Brilliant! Pando! I never knew a website's basic structure was that easy and fun to build. With which I replied, They sure are fun to build, Leo. Now, I'm sure you had fun with me and our friends who followed along. If you didn't get your laptop, please don't miss out. Rewind the video to the very beginning and create magic as well. So after showing Leo all that magic, he said, Bye, Pando. Wait, who is that over there? I got rattled at first, turned and recognized George, so I told him, I think it's George Rabbit. I'm going to check him out. Bye, Leo. This story is to be continued, kids. So kids, subscribe to this web development adventure with me. Pando, if you thought this was cool, we're going to build even cooler things, and I will make sure to make things as easy as possible, as if I were teaching my three-year-old kid sister, Mabel. So don't let this journey scare you. We're onto something great. Introducing Koto Pando, the revolutionary platform that makes learning to code an exciting adventure for kids. 
Did you know that kids who learn to code have higher math and problem-solving skills? With Codapando, your child will embark on an interactive journey of learning to code through fun and engaging cartoons, giving them the competitive edge for a successful future. Why not give your child the gift of coding and start their journey today with Codapando? Subscribe now. We just got started.